618 right now and a lot going on between now mm -hmm. and Friday. Nick, I'll let you take it from here. We have two storms. Two storms all means snow accumulations. A big winter storm, a long lasting winter storm. That's why it's a first alert weather alert day and that begins overnight all the way into early Friday morning. A winter storm warning in effect for the Kansas City area down along 50 highway to Warrensburg, then up along 36 highway from St. Joseph to Chillicothe. And that's where you might see the bullseye with the heaviest snow. Temperatures in the 20s and 30s right now, so the cold air is here and it'll just keep coming in through the day as clouds increase with a mostly sunny sky this morning. Look at our 12 hour forecast in Kansas City, increasing clouds through the day. It'll be a blustery afternoon with a high of only 42 degrees, but we're snow free through 9 o'clock this evening. Overnight, that snow develops in a west to east swath. You can see at 9 o'clock this evening, you're starting to see a little bit of snow here. Watch what happens overnight through 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You're seeing that dark blue. The heaviest snow potential is overnight through Thursday morning. This is 6 o'clock in the morning from 6 o'clock in the morning through the afternoon into the evening, a large area of light to occasionally moderate snow. That's where we're really going to start to see the impacts on the roads Thursday morning into the evening. Dry air coming in to the north. Six o'clock Thursday evening, the, sh the snow shuts off here north and west of Kansas City. But our second storm system develops and swings south of the metro. So you're going to see that blue or that snow focusing more into central Missouri or just south and east of Kansas City. We may be done with the snow in the metro Thursday night, but it'll keep snowing here into central Missouri through Thursday or through Friday morning. So it's six o'clock Friday morning. The snow is out of here and it's done. So if you add up all the snow we're anticipating overnight through Friday morning, it'll be a gradual accumulation. You won't wake up tomorrow morning and have four to six inches of snow on the ground, but by Friday morning you very well may. This pink area is four to six inches of snow, and then there will be a narrow, long west to east swath of snow at six to eight inches. Now that area might shift a county or two south or a county or two to the west. You can see how that would greatly impact the amount of snow you get, but you know, four or five inches versus seven or eight inches, that's tough to tell much of a difference shoveling, and it'll have the same impacts on the road. So this will be a higher impact winter storm Saving grace may be it's going to gradually accumulate, but the heaviest will be Thursday morning. So I would plan on school cancellations, bad road conditions, business closures, that type of thing, especially for Thursday morning. And then maybe we see improving conditions on the roads Thursday afternoon and evening as the snowfall rates lessen. Bitter cold to follow. There's a lot of outdoor events on Saturday. There's 5K runs in the morning. It's Snake Saturday. It's going to be cold with snow on the ground, Donna. Six degrees in the morning, 33 in the afternoon. We do spring ahead this weekend on Sunday. It's 58 degrees with sunshine. Much warmer for next week.